IBM invented the cipher blockchaining mode of operation in 1976. In CBC mode, each block of plain text is XOR with the previous cipher text block before being encrypted. This way, each cipher text block depends processed up to that point. To make each message unique, an initialization vector must be used in the first block. Initial vector is not secret but it needs to be unpredictable. Initial vector has the same size as all plain text blocks. 64 bits of initial vector with 64 bits of plain text block will produce as a 64 bits result. The exclusive or operation will compares and produces the result bit by bit. Based on the example, the first bit of the result will be 1. The second bit will be 0. The third bit will be 0. And the operation will continue for all the remaining bits. Once it is done, the result will send to the block cipher encryption to produce a cipher text. Based on our example here, we can assume the produced cipher text is cipher text 1. After that, the cipher text 1 is used as the initial vector for the next operation. At here, the XOR operation will compares and produces a result from cipher text 1 and plain text 2. Then the result will send to the block cipher encryption to produce another cipher text. After that, the cipher text 2 is used as the initial vector for the next operation. At here, the XOR operation will compares and produces a result from cipher text 2 and plain text 3. The flow is continue until all plain text have been encrypted into cipher text. For decryption, cipher texts are sent to the block cipher decryption to produce a result. The result will be used to produce as an initialization vector in plain text by using the XOR operation. The XOR operation will compares and produces the plain text bit by bit. Based on the example, the first bit of the result will be 1. The second bit will be 0. The third bit will be 1. And the operation will continues for all the remaining bits. Once it is done, the first 64 bits of plain text is decrypted. Besides of decrypting ciphertext, the current ciphertext will be used as the initial vector for the next process. At here, the XOR operation will compares and produces the plain text to from the cipher text 1 and result 2. After that, the cipher text 2 will be used as the initial vector for the next decryption process to generate plain text 3. The flow is continue until all the cipher texts have been decrypted into plain text. That's all for the cipher blockchaining mode.